Alright. Wicked Witch Sebastian, ready to go? Wicked Witch Sebastian, ready to go. Alright. Welcome back to another episode of Register Edition, Halloween style. And today, we're making a spooky deviled egg with some spider olives. So stay tuned. If you're like me, I'm a junkie when it comes to deviled eggs. Um, so what I have here are eight uh, large eggs. They're brown eggs, white eggs, whatever eggs you want to use are just fine. Um, I have a pot over here that is boiled, and now it's time to boil some eggs. So I'm going to take a spoon, and the reason why I'm using the spoon is I don't want to break the shells and get all the whites out of it, because obviously you're not going to get a perfectly boiled egg. Now I'm going to slowly start putting them into the boiled water. Careful not to burn yourself. And typically for a perfectly boiled egg, you're gonna to want uh, to boil them for exactly 10 minutes, but I'm putting more and it's going to start uh, basically cooling down the water. So I'm probably gonna put it in for about 12 minutes because I want the egg or the egg yolk to be fully cooked through um, so that I can make the filling for the doubled eggs. So I'm gonna set my timer to 12 minutes. And now we just play the waiting game. A few moments later. The time has come. The boiled eggs are ready. So now let's strain these bad boys. Dump them in, get over there. And I'm just gonna sit them in the sink, have some cold water running over them. Cause if you start peeling these right now, you will burn the heck out of your hands. All right, so my eggs are kind of cold now. So I'm gonna take them. And what I like to do is just roll it. So I break all the shells and you just start peeling away at the skin, be very gentle because you don't want to break up the egg whites because that's going to be the cup, I guess you could say, for your deviled eggs. So just slightly mash them. And you may get a couple ones that are already broken, it's fine. You can still salvage them as long as you're gentle. And no, these are not going on the floor. I have a trash can between my legs. All right guys, so my eggs have been peeled. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna take the yolks and I'm gonna pour them into this mixing bowl. So I'm gonna very gently have all the eggs. And I'm gonna take out the egg yolks. And what you left here is a lovely little cup, which is gonna hold the filling for your deviled eggs. Like I said, some of them will split and break as you're starting to peel them, that's totally fine. As long as you're gentle taking out the egg yolks, you should be okay. So now that I have all my uh, egg whites halved and uh, de-yoked, I guess you could call it, now it's time to start making the filling. So what I have here is some Duke's mayonnaise. Any mayonnaise will work just fine. And I'm gonna take a couple dollops of it probably about a half a cup. I would say just slightly under a tablespoon of uh, mustard. And a good spoonful of some relish. I like the extra chunky relish. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of the vinegar just to kind of help bind it all together. And what I'm gonna do is just start mixing it. This filling is almost exactly, if you ever made egg salad, it's almost exactly the same style filling. Season it with just a little bit of salt and a little bit of uh, freshly ground black pepper. Give it a little taste. What I have here is a family size uh, Ziploc bag, and I'm gonna use this as a piping bag. Uh, piping bags are used a lot in baking, kind of like fillers and everything like that. If you don't have a piping bag like I don't, I just use a family size Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna take this filling without trying to make a mess all over my cup or all over my cutting board. Try to pour the filling inside. Waste not, want not, so make sure you get all of it in there. Give 
You want to help move it down, close the bag, make sure to make it airtight. So get all the air out of there. And then what I'm going to do, squeeze it all down. And now I have a perfect piping bag. All right, and then what I'm going to do is just snip a little bit off the top. And now I have this filling. So I'm going to take it, just put them inside. Right, perfect. So now my deviled eggs, honestly, you could eat them just like that, but because these are spooky deviled eggs, I have some Kalamata olives that I'm gonna turn into spiders. And I'm gonna show you just how I do that. Okay, so to make the uh, spider, you're gonna take a Kalamata olive, you're gonna cut it in half, and one half is gonna act as the body. So you just sit it right in the center, and you're gonna take the other half, and you're gonna cut them just into some strips, and these will act as the legs. Just take them, so nice, right next to it. Even though a spider has eight legs, these ones will just have four. But people get the hint. Just like that, you have a spider deviled egg. I'll do another one, because that one's a little sloppy. We're not sloppy here at Register for Dinner. Just like that, some spooky deviled eggs. All right guys, I made my deviled eggs nice and spooky. Now it's time for plating up. So I just have a nice little plate. Go ahead and sit these down very gently because they are nice and delicate. And I left just a couple to the side for me and my uh, handy dandy uh, director for us to try. So what I'm going to do is sit this, and then the final touch is just a little bit of paprika. You can use smoked paprika if you want a little heat, use a little bit of cayenne, but it just helps give it a nice little color. And just give it a nice little sprinkle on top. There we go. And just like that, guys, you have a spooky Halloween deviled egg that you can bring to your Halloween party, costume party, and it will surely be a hit. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register, and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay spooky my friends.